When I get the truck back under, I'll come over here and we'll start it and then we'll rev it up as we start going. Let the truck go back then. Get the beans fired up. This isn't a bin that takes an hour and a half to fill. It takes a little bit, but it's not bad. Not bad is what we... Well, yeah, but when you're used to jet fill and you can get loaded in about eight minutes... That's true. It'll take a while regardless. When it's going to take 15 minutes just to pull forward once, probably. But yeah. yeah. Enjoy the night, kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at least it's not 85 and humid already. Oh. That. I'd rather have these days every year. This is about perfect. All day, every 50s day. Fifties in the morning and seventy-five in the afternoon. I'll take it. All day, every day, man. Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping in. It's gonna be a good week. You know why? Because it feels like Monday, but it's already Tuesday. Yesterday was Labor Day. So we've only got a four day work week. If you had a three day weekend and you had a choice between a Friday off and a Monday off, I'd almost always take Monday off because you work the week, you got Saturday and Sunday off, and then hey, you got another one. And then when you do finally have to go back to work, it's like only four days. Maybe most people disagree, but I think that's the way I would do it. All right, well, they got one truck done already, and Kyle's going to try and back the the Kenworth and the Drake up. Told him he might as well figure it out now before harvest comes around and we're all waiting on him. At least he can take his time here and not be too worried about hitting it on the first try. But while they're working on those, Dad and I are hopefully going to get this thing mounted up. These shovels that are going behind the chisel all they're doing is gonna level the dirt out a little bit so we're not overly concerned about what shovels we put on it so our intention was to just grab some of these spares that we don't use anymore because our our main field cultivator has the knock-ons now so different style therefore we can't use these anymore so we were just gonna bolt these on but it turns out they take a different bolt size. So what we're gonna do, because it's not worth an entire trip back to deer for four more shovels, we're gonna go down the road to an old one that we don't use anymore that's about wore out, and we're gonna steal four off it and it'll work just fine. Took him a few tries, but hey, first time ever doing it. A little bit of guidance. But, first successful backup. All right, you got your first one out of the way. You're good from here on, right? No more, next one. no more. No uh, more Dustin's here. Now, you got it. Just takes time. Hey, he even said, he goes, I got spoiled at Jitville. I'm like, you do get spoiled oh, yeah, at takes, Yeah. Yeah, when you can just pull under and it's good and you go. You know you're centered. Yeah. Even the, uh, even the auger on the bean bin is so much nicer. Yeah. Because it's in the same spot. Once you know where to go, it's yep. so much and easier. And we, we've worn tracks. Oh, yeah. We've worn ruts uh -huh. into, yeah. into that. Even before that bean bin, all of, yeah. the, all of, all the, of the beans were in the little all bin. All the beans were in the little bin. So you would spend that's half your morning. Beans wouldn't cut till 11. You spent up until 11 moving augers, yeah. unloading trucks. Yeah. And then by the time that day was over, you normally had a farm done, and <laughs> next morning you had to go to another one. And it, it was, you got good at backing up, but it was a pain. Yeah, it sucked. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Ah, uh, come back a little bit. Yeah. 
Yep. Ah, oh, those will work perfect. For what we're using them for anyway. where we want it. Are you where you need to be? My bolts are almost on top of where the last one were. I'm about half uh, an inch or so off. Both shanks are right on the outside of the Okay. Hey! Well, if you guys were completely confused on how I described what we were doing with this, now you see it. So, discs cut, chisel works the ground, and then these, the, on, the only purpose of these is to level out the ridges that the chisel leaves. Just kind of leaves a little more finished look. That's the only purpose of them. So, simple project that's gonna make that next pass after the chisel a little more smooth. And back to the same old problem with small bins. She's running empty already. Well, <clears throat> unfortunately, this will not quite all fit on that truck. And that's the last trailer we got. Oh well. All right, well, typical day. Found the sweep that we needed, found the motor, no problem. But this pin that connects the motor to the sweep was non-existent, so we had to make ourselves one. Got that done. And now the plug that supplies your power is the wrong style. So now we've got to find the correct style plug and swap the plug on the cord. That right there. That's it. All right, Phillips screwdriver. Phillips. Have you ever wondered why Philip gets a screwdriver? <laughs> Anybody else ever wonder stupid stuff like that? Like, why is it Philip? Why isn't it John's screwdriver? Or Fred's? And why in the world do I not have any of the ones I want? Fire in the hole. Hey! It works! That's going the right way, right? We'll find out. <laughs> it was going counter. I believe. Plug it in again. What's wrong? 
No, it's good. It's clockwise. Okay, I was gonna say that's, that's right. not the way it should be turning. <laughs> We're good. She clockwise. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let go. Yep. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> let here. Just watch out. Kyle, go ahead and kick on. Kick it on real quick. Nope, go ahead. Keep running. Okay. All right, now can you get that on there without filling it in? Got it. All right. Bring on the motor! Chest press. Yep. Um, this washer that's right here needs to go on the other side. <laughs> There we go. All right, Kyle, you, yeah, he's ready for it. Nope, we'll put that on when we fire it up. Yeah, it won't take long. Intermission, lunchtime. What are you doing? Yeah, I don't We're gonna get out. We're gonna get out. Okay. Are you riding around with Gaga? Put her seatbelt on. <laughs> oh. Jump off. Jump off? Come on. Woo. Good job. Hey. Have a high five. Little one. Figure it out. Yeah, I just crashed up on the floor. Oh, yeah. You're good. Yep. Ready? Yep. That's fun on the fingers, isn't it? They're going well, and it won't take long to finish the last half of that truck. And I'm gonna go get the auger cart hooked up real quick. That way we can go ahead and finish that bin out today. And then tomorrow, all we've gotta do is dump the auger cart into whatever truck's empty first. And we don't have to waste time messing with the last clean out on the bin. The unfortunate part is there's no tractor on that thing. This tractor's in the way. That tractor and 2660's in the way. This tractor's what's gonna have to go on the auger cart for right now. And it's still fully plumbed into the corn planter. So I've got a little rearranging to do and I'm gonna try something a little different. Instead of talking through all of it, I'm gonna put you guys in a little bit of a time lapse and get all this stuff moved around. Well, everything went smoothly until the PTO on this tractor. You can tell it sits on a corn planter all year where we don't use the PTO, because she was stiff. But Kyle's back there, he got the tarp rolled for me. Let's go get this thing.
took off a little too soon. He wasn't done yet. <laughs> All right, we're good now. It is weird seeing this tractor that's got liquid tanks simply on a grain cart. I'm not used to seeing this tractor on anything but the corn planter. He obviously has to lower the auger a little bit, but grain cart will hold 1,300 bushel. And we're guesstimating there's only about five or 600 bushel left in there. So I think I'm good to shut it off because I won't have to move it. Just put one big pile right in the center of that auger cart and get that bin empty. All right, well, I think Kyle and Dustin have that well under control. No need for me to stand around. Um, as you can tell, the chisel is no longer here. Dad's actually already headed up north with it. He's going to start chiseling the wheat stubble. Um, man, no-till for so long, it makes us cringe thinking about chiseling ground and leaving it set open all winter. But... We just have never had good luck trying to deal with wheat residue come spring. So, And then you've got the tile lines you want to work down anyway, so you want to work it. Might as well help manage the residue now. Make spring a little easier on us. So that's what we're going to do. Well, there's three projects we've moved to the shop in the past week, and nothing's been tidied up since we finished them. So that's my job right now. Get a little bit of order back to this shop. You guys know what that means. No more beans coming out means all the beans are in the auger cart. We've literally got one bean bin left over at Jipville, our big one. That's the only thing, it's the only bin that has any grain left in it. And it won't for much longer. Empty out okay? Yep, so. Good deal. Well, how about we give mom her yard back? Let's get I mean, this. Like that. We'll get this thing tied up and I'd say let's go ahead and we'll take it back over to Woodrow's. Yeah, just get, last day, ain't it? Yep, just get it get it out of the way completely and uh we'll get this tractor poor thing back under roof. Cranker. Hey you guys. Go ahead and take a break. I got this. <laughs> I don't think I had a choice. I think I was going to do it one way or the other. Yep, that's your kill. Bring it down below that. Keys on. Yep, a little more throttle. Gotta love the sound of this. I love it. Uh, it always starts right up. Yeah. Um, we're out of gas. Yeah. <laughs> so on this, you've got obviously park. That's neutral. You've got... So they, these two spots are your two forward gears. And then if you pull it over and down, that's your reverse. So that's first and third. That's second and fourth. Fifth and seventh. And then you've got six and eight. Yep. Yep, and you'll clear it. You're good. This one's always fun taking down the road because not only do you have to worry about that tire cutting in, you've also got to worry about that cutting out wide.
Yep. That way she's clear of the combine when we come through with this field and during harvest. So me and Dustin are headed to go give dad the truck I'm currently in. Um, he took the chisel up. He's running some of those tile lines. So we're going to leave him a truck. That way he can just come home whenever he wants. We don't have to wait on him if he decides to stay late. Alrighty, we're out in the field. Dad's just been running through. Got those blades all nice and shiny. Cleaned them up. Alright guys, well, I think that's going to do it for today. We actually got more than I expected accomplished. I mean, I did not expect Dad to be up on Logue running tile lines already. So that's a pleasant surprise for what feels like a Monday. Anyway, did you guys know that it takes 150 yards of wool for every baseball? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Find that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't. And as always, see you in the next one.